Folks, we're back in Master Hard Car for episode 5, where, since last time I've done, well, not much at all, but I have found some gold for us to go to. Um, I was literally just digging down through random place here, because I saw a little bit of a, um, an area, and I managed to find a huge amount of gold, which I haven't actually mined out yet. The trouble is, there's spiders afoot. We found a lot of spider areas, which we haven't gone into. But I think finally we need to actually do that. Although hopefully we'll be able to get some of the gold without it being too much of a problem. So these are all caves that we've seen before. My um, demonic ice boomerang should help us out a lot today because it's good. I think this is what we got last time when we fannied around in the oak cavel in the ice caves. Get you, sod the rest of you. And I also found this little campfire. There's like a little area where there's a... a a few quid on the ground, and a skeleton, and a campfire ready to be lit, which was cool. But that led me down to here, which is an absolute metric ton of good golds. So let's just go in here. The only trouble is, if you see to the right, there's spider's web, and I reckon that is going to be a spidery area. We don't really need to go particularly into the spider's area, though. As far as I can tell, there's not going to be anything in there. Is the I can't remember anyway from previously playing Terraria. There's usually like a a potential NPC bound there, but otherwise... Hello. You want to show me something, don't you? Oh, you're, you're taking me over here? Alright. Well, we'll come back to the gold. Once we've been dealt with you. Good old lad over here. Oh, there's actually quite a bit of... Oh god, I'm going to have to d dig through all this now. So it's taken me to another part, which is nice. Uh, again, I'm not going to use that because I've got 180 and I don't want to activate the eye. That's basically our long, well, short-term goal now, is fight the eye, I think. And because we are getting there, we are getting there. Gold, lead, silver, and I'll be able to take some of this gold and turn that into, hopefully, a chest plate. Because what is it? We've only got one gold, and I need to mine out the rest. Now I've got the love heart, that's even better. So let, I'll get this, uh, and then maybe we'll be able to make that chest plate and just increase our odds that little more. But yeah, when I do this, I've got to make sure that I keep on putting in the, the sand around it so the spiders can't get me. From what I remember, spiders are just have loads of health, so master mode, they'll probably be even nastier. This, this is a bit of a risk. They can't get through, can they? No. But let's, let's tonk them. Ice Boomerang, I think, is very good against them. It's very fast and doesn't use ammo. I've also got the, I mean, the gist arrives. If there are more of them... I could use Jester Arrows and use their piercing ability, but at the moment it doesn't seem too much of an issue. They really are just running into me. And they are quite large. Ooh, they look like a drop. Interesting drop. Oh, in fact, I could just use my sword at this point. Right, that seems to have got rid of them for the time being. Let's be a bit cautious. But not that cautious. Ooh, I don't know how far this goes. Is that it? Or is there more? I think everything, even with them, the cobwebs got rid of, they can still spawn because of the background. Apparently you can take out the background and stop them, but that's the, that's the only way to stop them spawning. Oh, di ooh, diamond! Yeah, I'll have that. Still want a bloody um, gemstone grappling hook of some description, because I haven't got one yet. Anything in there? Oh, a cave bat. Yeah, okay. Don't think there's any... Oh no, spiders. And they can get through there. Coming at me, are you? Aha! That has, those, those are definitely quicker than the magic mirror. Otherwise, I would have been a bit buggered there. Now, let's just see how much... I don't think I've got any gold in here. I think I used it all up last time. But let's get on with the gold. See how much we've actually got. 20. Even that, even that won't get us where we need to be gold-wise. That's not even enough for one bit of armor. Not even... Not even enough for, like, some bloody trows. So I'm glad I got that diamond, because um, that actually does take me um, to over 15 diamonds. I thought that wasn't going to be enough, but apparently it is. Which means we should now be able to craft us the grappling hook. Not the diamond toilet. We don't want a diamond toilet. <laughs> God damn it. Right, where would this be? If anywhere. Oh, a heart lantern. Ooh. Never mind about that. Uh, what am I looking at here? There it is. Ga um, let's make that. Put it into there. A rather spectacular diamond. 
grappling hook. Excellent, that increases our mobility somewhat. And now we need to go and find more stuff. We still need gold, really. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be any more gold down there. I don't really want to go back into the spiders. But we may have to. I can't really see... I mean, unless we go really deep into... There's more spiders there. See, every, everywhere I haven't explored seems to be spiders. There's always here. There's always here. So we're heading towards morning now. The the, the day bloom is now out. Oh, careful. The day bloom is now out. Oh, I've been, um, I just did a little bit more mining around, just didn't really find anything. But I did find a hell of a lot of silt, which doesn't sound very exciting. However, it does mean that... It's 258, bloody hell. It does mean that we may be able to get some more gold and stuff out of this. There's, a, there's one bit of gold, though. It'll take a while. How much gold have we got out of this? Seven. That's not much. But it's some. We've got diamond, ruby, yeah. Got a few things. Hopefully I can just quick stack all that. There we go. <laughs> all gone. With the gold on there as well. So we'll have about 21 gold in total. We need iron skin potions. So we'll have to do some harvesting. Boop. 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 Put the seeds in. There we go. Now, so what I was hoping to do is go to the corruption, because I think we're now strong enough to do that. And this... What, is, what sword have I got? A savage lead sword. And 12 melee damage. Mm, it's not great. I mean, over in the Terraria streams, I was taking on the Eaters of Souls with a bone sword, which was 16 damage. And that was wiping them out very easily. However, in this, of course, they've got more health. So I think it's finally time to um, risk it. And at least start building some platforms and things. So then we can ex ex explore the rest of the surface to the left, which is something we've been meaning to do. I don't think we're strong enough to go through the jungle yet. I think that's still, still going to be... Oh, what? Oh. I fanned. I faffed. And I panicked. And I ran away. <laughs> right, let's try. See see how de deadly these lads are in this mode. Hmm, that took quite a few arrows. It's not ideal. Bloody hell, another one. Let's try with the boomerang. Oh, the boomerang's not going to be very much use, is it? It's They they get knocked back way too much. Oh, yeah. Also, this lad can sell her. Okay, sword. Uh, this ain't bad, actually. I mean, it just about keeps them at bay. God damn it, these lads. I'm not going to get anywhere at this rate. Oh, ah, shit. Do you need to stay back? There we go. <laughs> yeah. Can't get anywhere at the moment. I need to get rid of this goddamn tree. Sod off tree. You're in the way. Of course, it doesn't quite get rid of the whole tree, but it'll have to do for now. Just go away. I'm trying to make a long platform. Here we go. Oh, careful. Stay back. Ugh. Where does that slime get off attacking me? God damn it. It's just a shitty old slime. Go away. Not even an ice slime. I might as well get the gel. They're just so I can actually slip back in there if all goes wrong. So, oh, so we still seem to be in the ice biome. I think we we're in the corrupted ice biome. Which is interesting. A few torches and things. Let's make it a bit easier to get around. Hmm. Oh, uh, look at this. This looks like a proper entrance, doesn't it? Hmm. This is as far as we've ever got. Let's just quickly um, secure ourselves a little bit. There's a lot of slimes coming out to play. Stay, stay back. Right, so hopefully we won't get attacked by another Eater of Bastards, whatever the hell it's called. The big worm lad. But not the Eater of Worlds, but, you know, that's the really big lad. Not sure we'll ever get as far as that. Oh, look at that! <laughs> that was pointless. 
Hmm. Another slime down there. We don't really want to be exploring the corruption itself because it's a bit of a, a boring S bio, which is tunnels, isn't it? Anyway, there's no point in doing that until we've actually got strong enough and the ability to whack the, the balls and all that. I think maybe we need to go over the top. However, I can't be bothered, so <laughs> I'll just do a little mine through. Well, there's a lot of them. I wonder if you just use my sword. No, I can't get, can't get my sword through there. Maybe burn them. This is more like it. You'll see I've installed doors. <laughs> Useful old doors. Another one. Just the one of them this time, at the moment. Go away. Oh, totally the wrong weapon. Ah. I was, uh, my, my, uh, I was missing. <laughs> I was trying to prod um, the buttons of the keyboard, and I just kept on missing the the ones I was trying to hit. There's one problem with them having this bloody microphone in the way is I can't see the keyboard fully. I'm gonna blame the let's play. I'm back. <laughs> and this time I've got my iron skin potions, so I've just activated that just now. And hopefully this time I won't um. Press the wrong buttons. Yes! Stay back. Now we just have to go down here. Again, the, it's the ice slimes that seem to be more in my face than anything. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Stay back. Eight damage. It's not very much, is it? But at least, um, at least they don't move out of the way too much with the sword. I really could do with an upgrade to the sword, I think, finally. I really could do with a... Well, bone sword, really, but I'm unlikely to be able to randomly get that again. That was a very lucky drop, I think, I got in the Terraria streams. I mean, that's good all the way up to probably the Each of Souls and beyond the bone sword. In fact, it's only just slightly less damaging than the... Uh, the Lights... Whatever the fuck it's called, the Lights Bane or whatever. Oh, this is so large, this place. I'm going to risk it. I've only got a few, couple of recall potions left now. I keep on using them by mistake, or because I keep on cocking up, rather than any grand design. Getting slowly across the corruption. This corruption is huge, isn't it? That's, that's the really big problem here. Oh, we need to push onwards. Oh, desert! Oh, there's a corrupt desert as well. This world is just corrupt as all hell. At least it's not slippery anymore. So I don't fall into the, one of those pits or anything. And another each of souls. Just gonna ignore it this time. Although this time I think we're gonna have to turn around and crap. Oh, sod it. Oh, normal desert. Let's get out of here. Ooh, careful. Oh, it's the oasis. Uh, that was really dumb. Anyway, let's just have a little bit of a, a, a panic dip. Hello. You followed me, did you? Well, finally we got across the corruption. Ah, nice, lovely oasis. Not an enemy in sight, other than the one I'm trying to kill. There we go. A rotten chunk. Not quite sure if the um, oasis is actually do anything. If they have any special trove. Well, here's a lad who we, um, we're not going to ever face. <laughs> it's Skeletron in human form. I don't think we're ever going to be able to get into the dungeon. I keep on saying that, there's absolutely no way of us ever doing this series, but so far we've done okay. But, I don't know. It's literally just going to finish at any second without any warning. It's just going to be, oh, I just yeah fell into a baddie and couldn't get out again, or something. It's just going to be so piss. <laughs> I'm managing expectations. Oh, uh, look, some regular-ass grass biome. Including some day bloom. Day bloom. Ah! It looks like down there. Possibilities of uh, an area where we may find a chest. This feels very chesty. Very potty. Oh, chesty poos. Please be something good. Her bag. Be some shiver bloom seeds. I've already got some shiver thorn seeds. Oh. Where do they came from? Eh, either way. Moon glow and death weed and all sorts of cool stuff. Oh, because I was, Yeah, I, don't, I have no idea where those um, shiver thorn seeds came from, other than when I was maybe 
buggering around in the ice biome. Radar, it detects enemies, why not? Some grenades, rope, shuriken, recall potions, more iron skin, more silver coin, and some wood. We've still got the iron skin. Water candle? Who's got the water candle? Have I got a water candle? Dunno. Don't like the fact there's a water candle. That means more enemies are spawning. Where's the water candle? It's gone now. It must have been something around here. Oh, it's the dungeon, isn't it? Probably. This lad can go. Got blue slime. I don't, don't want you to the end of me. Right, let's um. I think it might be sensible to just do this. The zombies will be coming out very soon. I wonder how far we are to the end of the map. We might be able to push on to the ocean. In fact, I'm not even gonna finish that bridge. I don't think we really need to. Now we've got some more recall potions. That's. There's another chest. I remember it. Two chests! And also a tree biome. Whatever it's called. Another radar. An armoured radar. That's better. Rope. Stuff. More. Very similar chest, this one, to previously. Got more recall potions and iron skins. And there's actually a, some slimy poos here. Let's get rid of them. Equipment. Delicious equipment. And. Oh, uh, an umbrella. Nothing else of interest, really. Go careful! Oh, blimey. He came up on me quick. God, look at how bloody strong these lads are. Fuck. See, that's that's exactly what can happen. You just get bounced between enemies and there's no way out. There's no way out. Apart from that, there's a way out. But I'm back here again. Now, I didn't quite get to the ocean in the end, but we managed to get all that treasure. It's just that there's more treasure over the, the trees, isn't there? Which is always good. But yes, we have much, and in, in fact, we can now grow some Shiverthorn, which means we'll, we'll be able to do some more Danger Sense potions, which means we'll be able to go more underground again, which is very good news indeed. I think I shall, I shall set up as a little bigger growing area. Now it's getting dark. Let's just increase this size. I think we um, Shiverthorn seeds, I think they can grow in them. Um, I don't know if they can grow in all biomes or not, but I think they either have to grow in snow or we might be able to get away with just pots. So, I'll have a go. So I've got quite a nice growing area now. Got loads of all the seeds that we've just discovered. Um, and I've just, I've just realised we've also got now we've got some moon glow. We've also got and the ability to make a spelunking potion for the first time in a while. Um, do we have any danger sense? I'm sure we, should, sure we must have now. Um, so, I've moved the um, the potion making stuff a bit closer to home, just so we've actually got this. So we can open this, make sure we've got the bottled water. See what potions we can actually make. We can make an iron skin spelunker. Now we can't make the danger sense. Oh, that's right, cobweb. That's what we need. Just open the other chest. And now hopefully we should be able to make the danger sense. There it is. How many of these can we make? Well, we've got two shiver... Th one shiver thorn at the moment. But we are growing some more, so that hopefully we should actually now have a finally have a potion making industry. I'm glad we've got the we've got, we've got the iron skin as well. But that does seem to suggest. Oh no, we need a spelunking potion as well. We get the danger sense and the spelunking potion, and then we'll be able to find all sorts of cool stuff down below. Finally, um, got the wrong chest open, I think. There it is. Only make one, sadly. But soon we shall be able to make as many stuffs as we want. Excellent stuff. Let's go find some final treasure for this episode. So I'm very near the spiders, who can't get in, thankfully. Um, and I'm about to drop into an area full of caves and things like that. So I think it's time to activate the potions, so press E. Already we have stuff. Silver ore, not bad. There's also some more diamonds and... I think over to the right may be gold. There's also some cobweb stuff, but... The thing is, we don't really want silver ore. I think I'm going to avoid getting silver ore. Okay. Oh, bombs. Nice. I really don't want to get... I'm dead. Worm. I really don't want to get silver ore when... That's not what I'm going to craft. I'm going to craft gold or nothing, really. 
I've also got the iron skin on now, so thankfully things shouldn't be giving me too much problem. Could do with an attack increase as well, to be honest. Oh, go away. I hope that's gold, and not just um, some nonsense like silver again. Better bloody be good. There are ten enemies nearby, officially. Most of which are probably spiders. Come on, get caught. There we go. Get us some cash, I guess. I'm just looking around to see if I can see anything else that's good. Most of the... Uh, right below the, the pond... It, what's, what's this? It looks like silver. Yeah, it's more silver. Below the pond down there, that looks like gold. I find it too diff difficult to actually differentiate. There's a pot down there. Let's... Um, Let's actually try and go down here, because it might be a bit easier to get around if we do that. Still got plenty of recall potions if we go a bit crazy. There's bats for days. Ooh. 21 health just lost. God damn it. Right, where's my rope? Got loads of rope from pots, I think. Quick! That was close. Stay back. Millions of bats. Usually, usually suggesting that this is going to be a great big cave. If there's that many. Okay, let's, let's take a risk. Wow, that was... That's really opened things up. And look! Oh, you're danger sensing. Very convenient, because otherwise I'd walk straight into that, I think. Nothing there to actually get. Oh, I can actually get that gold! I th that should be quick enough for it not to be too much of a waste. There's a bat or two here as well. Oh, gold! Gold! Very much needed. Because um, as soon as we get a full sense of gold, a full set of gold armor, I think it's going to be time to take on Cthulhu. Yes, here's the gold. Oh, drop skelly. Nasty little shit. Bloody hell. Oh, you're a bone thrower. Ooh. Nasty, nasty. Oh, well, 63 health. Die! Ooh, black slime! Stay back! Wow, that's a toughie. Whew. I think I've got some regen going on. Have I? Apparently not. <laughs> I thought I got regen. Die. Die! God, I'm down to... 117 health, that seems like sounds like a lot, but it isn't, because everything hits so hard. I'm a bit nervous now. Oh wow, look at all that. Pots for days. Oh, there's a lot of health there. What's th oh, it's marble! Oh, we're in a marble biome! Die, die, die! Oh, treasure for days down there! I've only got 12 seconds of Spelunka left, but it was enough to, to lead us to here. Worm, I hear you. We're about to lose. There's a bit of gold due left. If we ever want to go back and get that. But yes, it seems like we've found a big treasure room. Gold at the end of the rainbow. Oh! <laughs> you little turd. Thankfully got it. it looks like there's another skelly down there. Hopefully it's not a bone thrower. That bone really hurt. Ooh, there we go. Piranhas for days down there. A lovely little marble-themed place. Get rid of you. Very much like the end of the ice episode. Only this time... So, oh, we've actually had... Oh, I'm in the ice bone as well. Pots, pots, pots. Pots, pots, pots. No, no traps by the looks of it. Although, hang on. There's also a gold chest down there as well. Secure the area. Rash Hermes boots. Already got some angry Hermes boots. Dynamite, be very careful. Silver. Spel oh, two more Spelunka potions. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Inventory's full again. More danger sense potions. Holy shite. That's really good. 
Very good news indeed. Get rid of all those chests. And we've also got. S oh, I have to. Hang on. I want. I want those pictures. Ah. Uh, there's so much stuff here. Get rid of that. And we have access to the chest. A flare gun. Oh, and some flares. And some throw knives. Nah. Whatever. That looks like everything we can do here, though. Just light that up. Plenty of gems if I wanted them. Okay, cool. Okay, so we'll stop here. Now we've found a nice big fat pile of treasure. And... Ooh, I feel like going over there, but we can do that in another episode. Because there is going to be another episode, apparently. <laughs> because I'm still refusing to die. That's... That's a long way up. Sod it. Let's go back. I can put my picture up as well, the merchant picture, as a triumphant thing. Put it over the fire. Right above the merchant, in fact, <laughs> which is convenient. Cool, okay, so we've got more potions, we've got loads more stuff growing, and we've got a bit more equipment, we've got flare guns for no reason at all, and we've got equipment to sell, so we should be getting quite rich very soon. And very soon, hopefully in the next episode, we'll take on Cthulhu, finally, after all this time, because I reckon we may now start um, are starting to get towards having enough armour. We've got a bit more gold, I'll probably go and get a bit more um, between episodes, just to really kind of get us there. Anyway, thanks for watching, um, and we'll pick this up again in the next one. Bye for now. God damn it. <laughs>